Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. So, the lecture period of the summer semester 2020 officially has begun and so I had my very first session of my seminar yesterday. It's the standard teaching and learning using augmented and virtual reality seminar, but this time in the remote teaching edition. Indeed, I had to do remote teaching and it seems like as if I do have to do this for the rest of this uh, summer semester, at least there are no chances inside that this will end. We will see, we will see. Maybe we can at least return to the labs or so at one point. But yeah, I think for now I can just continue doing this remote teaching thing, which actually was not too bad because, hey, I was giving the introductionary session right from my couch. I was sitting on my very very cozy couch and was just talking to the students who were surprisingly interested and engaged. I mean th this, is, this is really hard to gauge if they were really engaged. Um, let's just see. Okay I think the leather tunic will will last a little bit longer so we don't have to repair it yet. So let's let's get going. Let's return to the building site and make some more progress with the museum. When I'm talking about the start of the new lecture period, so yeah, remote teaching, it worked out quite well, which is another surprising thing because um, some of my colleagues had a few issues, not good quality, some dropouts. I even heard about a course where the students were in a different meeting room, in a different virtual room, conference room situation than the lecturer. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know how this has happened, but yeah, apparently fun things were had, but surprisingly on my end, things worked out all right. So had no technical glitches, students were responsive, which was also surprising. And yeah, th this is, the hardest part because sure I asked question they answered in the chat but since uh, most of them had their cameras disabled I had no idea what they were doing if they were sitting in the sun and just listening to me while reading a book or so or if they were actually engaged or I don't know I don't know it's it's, it's really hard to to judge what what was going on and if this was effective or not. But in general it, it, it felt good. It, it really felt good and yeah, seemed seemed to have worked. So all the preparation was a success and um, I like to I like to do something special here. Uh, how would it look like? Okay, I think we need more dirt. If I oh no now this problem. Um, so we need to go out until here basically. And from here on we could then just extend maybe out there. So yeah, all all the all the preparation was a success. Unfortunately, because we normally do a hands-on session where students can try out virtual reality and augmented reality themselves, this obviously was not possible doing remote teaching. So this was a little bit sad that this was not possible at all. But nevertheless, I, I tried to provide them with a lot of videos and other opportunities to to learn a little bit more about um, the previous projects that have been designed during the seminar and 
Yeah, all of that, all of that. And so I hope, I really hope that it will be successful in the very end. We will see, we will see about that. So, yeah, there's this, there's, there, there, there's the start of the lecture period. Since last time, so since Sunday, I'm I'm still still amazed by by this marathon thing. I must really say I'm I'm really yeah. I I think I I feel I find that the merit marathon situation really is um, a completely different type of running, and I think. This will become even more prominent with more long distance running because yeah there there was a problem I had with my breakfast so this this is not a, a thing that normally or that that occur, occurred to me before I did this marathon so um yeah you you need to do you the the longer the the run is the more preparations you need to. You need to make and I think this, this makes it really special also it becomes more and more important how to how to start your run how to do your run how to pace yourself during the run so that you don't exhaust yourself because you're you're running too fast at the start or well, all, all, all those things that could can go wrong so th this makes it very interesting very special and I find it I found it really Pretty really cool, and I must say it, it has a very, very strong appeal to me. And as I said, I, I want to do it again, and I will definitely do it again because, yeah, all, all this planning, all the strategy, all, all those additional considerations that that play a role make it very interesting, super interesting. So, um, hmm. maybe it's enough if we just just branch out basically and then close it off because this feels a little bit too too large this feels a little bit too large and um yeah so so i'm i'm still over the moon i'm still super happy that i did it and i i'm definitely sure that i will strike back that i will do it again and this time with a proper breakfast and to really see what what's what's possible and um, yeah, so th this is really cool. This, this really was was like an eye opener because there goes so much more into running such a distance than just running your normal half marathon or your 10k or whatever or your 5k where you can just all right ignite the afterburner and and do what whatever you can. <laughs> so. Th that's that's completely different and so I, I'm I'm really happy. I'm I'm super happy, super amazed and Yeah, I just want to say that, that it felt great it, and that it was great and a cool thing. Let let's fill in this platform so that we can stand out there and just get a feeling how it looks like, how it feels when we when we have this extension on our building. So yeah, there there there's this marathon thing. I'm also working on a after movie basically. This after movie could have been released by the time this episode goes live. Depends a little bit on how much progress I can uh, make until this point, but I think it will be a cool after movie. I think it will be a very interesting after movie. So um, yeah, this thing will will go up live on my other channel the video log channel basically the the travel log channel and um, yeah I, I'm really looking forward to it and it, it feels good it, it feels really good to be editing such a video so yeah having having a lot of fun with that not so much fun I have right now with the teaching I know yes I just said remote teaching was cool and it's a, it's a lot of fun and um, with my seminar, this was all right, but I'm at least this uh, semester taking over a seminar 
from the colleague and um, yeah at, at first so I think a few days ago as, as the lecture period started there were only six students I guess um, who enrolled and signed up for the seminar now I'm suddenly at 19 <laughs> and uh, I was a little bit shocked because hey dang it I need more topics <laughs> I need to, to have more topics to uh, suggest to the students okay I think I think this is large enough I think this definitely is large enough so now we need um, polished uh, it's not diorite andesite polished andesite and um, and we need and we need wood well I can do this wood real quick I guess so where are where are my locks I don't have locks any. Oh no, I right, I turned everything into to planks. Shoot. Okay, we need to grow more trees. All right. Um so spruce trees, oak saplings. Let's uh, do this. Let's have a few more uh, trees here and there. But we can get a few more locks. Right, this should do it. <laughs> I hope. Um, yeah, now, now I suddenly have to come with more topics, and this seminar starts Thursday. So, guess today I will be doing, or I will try to come with a lot of new new topics for them. That's exciting. <laughs> That's very exciting. So yeah, uh, constantly have to change your plans to adjust to a new situation and um, yeah plans plans I do have also some interesting plans for my channel for you basically I'm not I'm not quite sure Ooh, hi ow hey you dodged me no no where are you aha Some bones, very nice. This can this can be good for um, growing our trees. Yeah, I I was considering to get. I, I basically I at first was just checking. Okay, how much does a Minecraft server cost? And ooh, instant tree. I was. Um, quite surprised that they are not that expensive and so I was considering hey why not getting a Minecraft server for for us so that you as my viewers and I we can uh, play together of course there are not so many slots I guess so I need to I need to have some requirements who can join and who's not allowed to join but I think this could be really a cool thing when you build a few things and I can then showcase various things and I can from time to time explore the the changes that happened while I was away and um, yeah that that we do have some kind of collaborative event situation going on here I mean I think this, this could be really cool let, let me know what you think about it I find uh, this idea quite interesting and so yeah, but let me let me know if you would find this exciting, interesting as well, because then we might implement such a thing so that you can also contribute to a certain degree to um, a YouTube series, which will be then some some kind of community server situation or so. I think this will be then really interesting really cool and um, yeah just just let me know what you think about it it's just just an idea I had and I think this could be this could be exciting so there's that so 
anything else. Well, there there is not not so much going on because since. And will this be outdoors or will this be indoors? This is also a good question. And I like to have something. I would like to have something out here too. Maybe, huh? Wait, this, this could be an idea. This could be a very cool idea. Let's see. Let's see if this this looks good or bad. Um, well, since since the marathon, so then of course, right? If I do this, oh, then there there's a tree. That's nice. Uh, how do I want to do this? I need to bridge over three blocks. So basically starting here could be good when I do this, then I could do that. Right. So basically this would be the outside and all down here. So the, the floor should be glass that you can look down who's getting into the, the building that you have a perfect view down. I think this could be, this could be really interesting. This could be really cool when, when all of this down here is glass and you are basically floating above the, the ground. I think this could make it very interesting. Let's let's check this out. Let's uh, get to our vantage point. So um, yeah, after the marathon, I of course had to relax and um, yeah, take it very slow. So was doing that much. Was just doing very very short and very slow runs to yeah keep on running, but to. Uh, not cause any stress on my body basically, which is also super important after you did such a long distance run, you have to slow down and um, recover. You have to have a very long recovery phase. So that's, that's currently what I'm doing. And um, yeah, then lots of teaching preparation. And um, working on the on the video this is working on this video is really really thing I, I really enjoy right now it's, it's, it's such a cool thing to be editing such a such a video again such a real life video again it's the thing I haven't done in quite a while so I'm thoroughly enjoying it and that's really great but yeah I don't feel that I do have to to discuss that much in this episode I'm I, I, will, I will properly uh, realize oh I wanted to say this and that once once I'm done with the recording or so but right now it's uh, shoot <laughs> but right now it's uh, yeah I don't I can't really come up with so many exciting things exciting news except for well the the idea of having this this multiplayer server which could be really a great addition to to the channel and to the community for you that we can do something well, collaboratively and play together. I mean, this this would be probably a cool thing, a cool idea, a cool experience. And I wanted to discuss this for quite some time by now, but there were always other things like the marathon zone that were more important to discuss. But yeah, so um, there's some. Uh, Some tree dirt. I also wanted to go cycling again, but currently we do have a quite a windy time. So outdoors it's super windy and um, the sun is shining. It's super warm. It's super nice. But for cycling, I think it's not the the best weather because uh, you know, would be in a cycling. One direction would be fun. One direction would be a lot of fun, but 
the other direction would be not so great, I guess. <laughs> it would be quite stressful and yeah, not sure. I think I should wait a little bit longer before I start to fight against such, such a strong wind. <laughs> so um, yeah, this, this is also a thing I need to consider. Okay, um, here I like to have glass. I think this would look really good. Here, I don't know what I like to have. And I think I like to have this indoors. So I like to close this in. So this means here it could be interesting to have some uh, wood. And I do have even an idea. I'm not sure if this will really, will really work out or not. Okay, so much about this. Oh, yep. uh, yes, I do have the materials. I can craft a new shovel. Uh, do I really want to have wood there? Hmm. Not sure yet, but but maybe. maybe. Maybe wood is cool. Because I like to have... What do I want to do? Oh, yes, I wanted to craft a new shovel. Um, I want to see if it looks cool when I use various types of wood for this this platform over there so not only oak and spruce but maybe also acacia wood and birch wood and all, all those various wood types and just just mix them just make it super crazy here i think this could be this could look interesting at least i hope it will look interesting so we need more trees and more wood and in general more more things and i think we should take care of them soon because the sun is about to set so we need to leave anyway let's get all the sticks and store all the things we don't need such as those saplings and um those saplings the the stones can be can stay here the planks i like to keep here the locks definitely need to stay here the other things can remain in my inventory for now so ooh, it's really dark already all right horse let's get to the storage building real quick and check out what we do have in terms of wood so yeah i think this this museum will be will be exciting once it's done this will look really really great can't wait for it but it will it will take some time until we are we're done with it i mean there are so many more things that need to be done and uh yeah of course come on okay, i think we are getting Chased by a spider guy. And so yeah, this this will be ooh, zombie guy or so. This is also a cool thing, so yeah, I, I I don't know. I not not much going on right now. Oh yes, uh, there, there's one thing I wanted to well, maybe it's better to close this off. I wanted to discuss um, birch. We have a few birch planks, but we are out of birch we do have some acacia oh it's raining again acacia and jungle planks which is cool but birch is a little bit out of stock with respect to birch do we have we don't have birch saplings ha huh. That's surprising. Why don't we have birch saplings? Huh, okay. So maybe I need to look out for, for some birch trees and get some birch saplings. But this is the thing for the next episode. Oh man, it's coming really down. <laughs> Whew, so much rain. Um, oh yes, uh, with, with the remote teaching thing, I think, aside from that my planning worked out well, 
it's also quite beneficial once again that I'm used to do let's plays and to speak to a computer. So I think it would be ow, it would be um, super special, super good for for streaming. I mean, I, I wanted to do some some streaming so many times, but it's really hard for me to get a good schedule where I can um, get some streaming done. But I think doing streaming would also suit me very well. And so thanks to all my, um, yeah, let's play recording and um, working with let's plays and creating let's plays. I'm so used to, to speak in front of a computer that it also feels maybe quite natural for, for my viewers, for my students. I'm not quite sure. I don't know how if they, how they found my presentation, but personally I, I had no issues. So to me, it, it was really a, a pleasant and a cool experience doing this remote teaching. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So we have snow. And um, with that, I think we are all at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will be joining me next time. As usual, if you do have a question or topic or subject or something I can uh, discuss, please let me know. Because, um, yeah, I, I always like some, some ideas. Like in this episode, I suddenly ran out of topics to discuss. And so it would be cool if I would get some uh, more suggestions. This is always welcome. And yeah, so we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Sebi. See you. <laughs>